In this video, we will learn about search strategies that will help you level up your library research. You may be asking yourself why you need to change the way you communicate in order to research. Well, popular search engines use natural language searching, meaning the search engine can interpret your natural language. Library databases can't interpret language this way, so we have to adapt in order to find scholarly information. Using Boolean operators allows you to create more precise searches and communicate complex search strategies in a more sophisticated way. Most importantly, it helps you find what you need faster, which is always nice. Boolean logic is made up of three connecting words, or, and, and not. Use these to build your search equation. When you use the phrase or, you're telling the database you'll accept either or both of the words. This expands your search and is useful when one of your main concepts has synonyms. For example, college or university. You'll use this when either word is acceptable. When you use the word and, you're directing the database to return results that contain both words. This term narrows your search. For example, if I use education and online, I'm demanding that the database include both words. Use and when both concepts are vital to your research. Use not when you want the first concept only. This also narrows your search. It's helpful when you find a lot of results on a related concept that is not in your research scope. For example, I'm researching religion, but I'm not focused on Christianity. Be careful to not overuse this term because you can cut out potentially useful resources. Phrase searching is another useful technique that can be combined with Boolean. Using parentheses or quotations around a concept tells the database to search those exact words in that exact order. If, for example, I plug the Great Gatsby into a database, the database interprets my search as the and great and Gatsby or the or great or Gatsby. This means the database may list every article or book with the word great in it. If you tell the database to search, quote, the Great Gatsby, it will return results with this exact title only. You can use either a question mark or an asterisk to create a truncated or wildcard search. Most often, an asterisk will work, but check the help section of a database or ask a librarian if you're unsure. Truncation lets you search for a word that has multiple endings. The asterisk replaces the ending of the word. For example, if I search compute asterisk, the database will search for computer, computations, computers, and so on. It simply keeps your searches shorter and limits typing. Wildcard searching is useful when multiple versions of words are acceptable. For example, searching WOM question mark N will return results referencing both women and woman. This tactic broadens results. So, now that you know what to use, let's talk about where to use it. These search strategies are useful in the library catalog, both the main search and advanced search. You can change the Boolean operator on the left, and you can also utilize the operators in a search bar to combine related concepts. Try using these search strategies in library databases like Academic Search Premier and JSTOR. If a database defaults to a simple search bar, look for an advanced search option. This link is often right underneath the search bar. Today we talked about the difference between natural language searching and database searching. We learned about three search tactics, Boolean, truncation, and wildcard, and we identified places to practice these techniques. If you want to brainstorm keywords, search techniques, or if you have any questions about the library, you can contact a librarian at libref at